Hey, genuine well wishes and constructive critics to whom I am thankful for letting me know my negatives. At the outset, I wish you and a beloved a safe journey in 2022 to, in spite of the three waves of Corona with the fourth wave and subsequent waves in pipelines, variants of cancer in full swing in India, all with high mortality rates besides other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist come good-hearted preacher Professor S. Suresh back with altruistic delight, reborn again, and in fact for my 183rd video, 183, on annual of publication on YouTube today, 10th October 2022, Monday. The topic for today is analysis of causes of death. I assure you my videos are short and sweet, worth every femtosecond of your precious time. We are mortal, but our videos are immortal, so we live through our videos forever, so I am confident that I live forever having published 183 videos so far including this one for the benefit of society that too absolutely free. Death, the event of dying or departure from life, the permanent end of all life functions in an organism or part of an organism, the absence of life or state of being dead, the time when something ends, the time at which life ends continuing until dead, the final state, the act of killing. Mortality rate. Mortality rate or death rate is a measure of the number of deaths in general or due to a specific cause in a particular population scale to the size of the population per unit of time. Mortality rate is typically expressed in units of death per hundred per thousand individuals per year. It is distinct from morbidity, which is either the prevalence or incidence of a disease and also from the incidence rate. The number of newly appearing cases of diseases of the disease per unit of time. An important specific mortality rate, mortality rate measure is a crude death rate, which looks at mortality from all causes in a given time interval for a given population. Causes of death. Aging is not a scientifically recognized cause of death. It is considered that there is always a more direct cause, although it may be unknown in certain cases and could be a one of a number of aging related associated diseases. Experiencing fear, extreme stress or both can cause changes in the body that can in turn lead to death. According to World Health Organization WHO, the 10 leading causes of death globally in 2016 for both sexes and all ages were crude death rate per 100,000 population, ischemic heart disease 126, stroke 77, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease 41, lower respiratory infections 40, Alzheimer's disease and other dem dementias 27, trachea bronchus, lung cancers 23, diabetes mell mellitus 21, road injury 19, diarrheal diseases 19, tuberculosis 17. More children die of malaria, respiratory infections, diarrhea, perinatal conditions and measles in developing nations like India. In 2019, the uh, top 10 causes of deaths accounted for 55% of the 55.4 million deaths worldwide. At a global level, 7 of the 10 leading causes of death in 2019 were non-communicable diseases. These 7 causes accounted for 42% of all deaths in or 80% of the top 10. However, all non-communicable diseases together accounted for 74% of deaths globally in 2019. The world's biggest killer is ischemic heart disease responsible for 16%, one-sixth of the world's total deaths. Since 2000, the world's largest increase in deaths has been for this disease, rising by more than 7, 2 billion to 8.9 million deaths in 2019. Stroke and chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases are the second and third leading causes of death, responsible for approximately 11% and 6% of total deaths respectively. Deaths from neonatal conditions are one of the categories for which the global decrease in deaths in absolute numbers over the past two decades has been the greatest. These conditions killed 2 million newborn and younger children in 2019, 1.2 million fewer than in 2000. Deaths from non-communicable diseases are on the rise. Globally, 65% of the deaths from Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia are women. These causes and effects vary depending on the economic condition of the country. COVID-19 has highlighted the importance for countries to invest in civil registration and vital statistics system, vital statistics systems to allow daily counting of deaths and direct prevention and treatment efforts. Preventable causes of death. Causes of death 
may also be classified in terms of preventable risk factors such as smoking, unhealthy diet, sexual behavior and reckless driving which contribute to a number of different diseases. It is estimated that of roughly 150,000 people who die each day across the globe, about two-thirds, 100,000 per day, die of age-related causes. In industrialized nations, the proportion is much higher, reaching 90%. Risk factors associated with the death are hypertension, smoking, tobacco, alcohol use, disorder, sexually transmitted diseases, poor diet, overweight and obesity, physical activity, malnutrition, indoor air pollution from solid fuels, unsafe water and poor sanitation. In countries like India, poor diet, usage of solid fuels, drinking bad quality of water are very common. As you are aware, India is rated very high, around 150, 150 and standard growth is as high as 46% of children under age 5. Air and water quality are getting worse as time progresses. Pollution by greedy industries is a root cause. All of us are affected by these in some way or other. As regards smoking, passive smokers also get affected almost equally. Exponential increase in drug addiction is another one that is certainly preventable. Developing and underdeveloped countries' budget is very meager for health care. On the contrary, they spend heavily on destruction, so-called defense. Governments and corporates should focus on creating awareness on unhealthy habits to curb preventable deaths. I am terribly upset with the Indian medical routers, doctors, hospitals, pharmaceuticals, testing, laboratories, etc., of exaggerating the facts and creating unnecessary fear by making utterly false claims like India is diabetic, cancer, coronary heart disease, capital of the world, with a hidden agenda of spending the general public in all possible ways and forcing them to pay through the nose. The harsh fact is, in so-called wealthy nations, the mortality rates are very high, attributed to sedentary lifestyle, unhealthy diet, also known as junk food, addiction to substance abuse, unhealthy sexual practices, etc. Debates, discussion on open-ended topics like this can go on forever. Anyway, let me pull the plug here. We'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements views expressed are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of versatile experience. Always watch these videos with our closed captions, subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as from a sincere recommendation zillion times over. I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum. Today I must have made it in uh, six and a half minutes maybe. This time limit is self-imposed to retain the viewer's attention as a norm. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing. Attribute to the pandemic novel COVID-19 and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God, also known as the Supreme Power, is the one and only one that can put a stop to natural, unnatural events like uh, bio war, cyber war, like pandemics and epidemics, which ultimately pays a way for extinction of pays a way for apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on earth for no fault of others. Rest in peace and harmony.